Hi friends, Zoe here. Today I'm coming at you from beautiful Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It is an absolutely stunning day today and I'm feeling really good. So today for Spiritual Saturday in the series of November, I've decided to just do a how am I video because I've had many of you reach out on Instagram and ask me how I've been since returning back to Canada because as you know, I was a little bit hesitant, a little bit scared, a little bit worried, but I'm feeling good, so I'm really excited to share with you. So, let's get started. All right, so as you guys know, I was a little bit hesitant about returning back to Canada because you know that I'm kind of in love slash obsessed with Rome, <laughs> and it truly makes me so happy to have lived there for the past year and a little bit. I'm excited to return back, but for now, I'm going to be in Canada for a little while, and I'm also going to Mexico very shortly here to celebrate my amazing best friend, Jen's wedding, and also after that, I'm going to be going to California for a couple weeks to celebrate my 26th birthday. So, how is it being back in Canada? Obviously, I was a little bit hesitant about going back, but as you guys know, if you have been following along my channel and following along with members so far, I shared that I got a life coach who has really been helping me to work on my happiness and to take my happiness with me. So I am feeling amazing being back here in Toronto. Originally, I was flying back into Toronto and I thought it was maybe going to only spend a day or two here as one of my clients had some new products for me. So I thought that really I was just going to be stopping in and leaving. But I decided that the city deserves a second chance. <laughs> not a second chance, it's not, it's not like that. What I'm saying is like in the summertime I had not the funnest time, I guess, being back here. But this time around, it's just been amazing. I've been staying at my friend Steph's place. You guys know Steph and Dan, my familia, <laughs> from our travel diaries. And I also stayed with my amazing friend Manisha. So I'm doing really well. I've just been working and just taking the time to relax a little bit. I'm going to be coming back to Toronto in January because I know a lot of you had asked about a meetup as well. And I'm planning on having one of those in January when I return because in January when I return, I'm here for at least two weeks. So it's not a fast trip. It's not work focused, etc., etc. I do have a lot of work to do this week and have been trying to do a lot because I am going to Mexico. I do have clients. It is November. It's going to be busy, but I'm hustling and I'm knocking those things off of my to-do list. So I think part of the main reason why this return to Toronto has been so amazing We've been blessed with beautiful weather. It is cold, but it's very nice. It's nice to feel autumnal. And I truly, truly love this city. If I live in Canada again one day, it will be in this city because it has such a pulse, it has such a vibe. And I would rather it be sunny and cold than to be rainy and like mild. So this is why I just love this city. So I didn't fill my schedule up too much. I also only have been doing the things that make me happy and make me joyful. And I've tried to be a lot more conscious of that rather than trying to meet up with people because I feel like I, I should and I've decided to relax a little bit and I'm just kind of focusing on my work and for me for the next week and when I return back in January, that's when we can have some fun and possibly have a meet up. Another thing too I've really come to realize which I wanted to share with you is this concept of pleasure and pain. So I recently read the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a <laughs> and it talks a lot about what you should care about, what you shouldn't care about, and also what pleasure you desire to have pain for. So we're gonna go through this life. We are obviously going to experience a lot of pleasure, but in that we are also going to have to, have to experience pain. So I'm gonna give you the example of an athlete. So say if there is an all-star NBA player and he wants to be numero uno. He wants to be at the top. So he is picturing and visualizing this insane pleasure that he hopes to have, but is he willing to put in all the effort, go to all the practices, dedicate his life to fulfilling this dream and this goal? That process is going to be painful. He could have injuries, it's going to be mental, physical, all these different types of pain, but it is essentially worth the reward, worth the pleasure in the end. So I've really come to understand this as I think in the past I've kind of just always tried to think positive and always thought that it's going to be good, it has to be good, it has to be good, but sometimes you need to accept this form of pain, this form of contrast if you will, to see what it's like or see how much more fulfilling the end goal can be when you have struggled to get there. So my pleasure and pain experience is 
the pleasure of moving back to Rome, Italy. The pain in this process is a stressful visa process, is trying to figure out how to all make it work, trying to get together finances, trying to get together all this and be smart about it. And it, it has a lot of to-dos, and it has a lot of to-dos that aren't necessarily fun and perhaps cause pain. And I'm obviously gonna have to say goodbye to everyone again. I'm obviously going to have to miss out on some things if I really wanna live in Rome again. So it, there is pains, but to me, Rome is where I want to be and this is my next goal. So I want to let you guys know that I'm working towards a return to Rome in early 2018 and I appreciate all your positive thoughts so far about me being back in Canada. I want you to know that I'm doing A-OK -okay and I appreciate your kindness more than you know and we're going to go back to Rome. We are going back to Rome. You're holding me accountable because I have plans over there. I have amazing friends over there. You guys know my Grande Futuro crew and it's my place it's my place so i'm going to do whatever it takes and the light the natural light is fading so i guess i better go but i want you guys to know that i'm doing a-ok -okay and thank you thank you so much for your positivity love and support and hopefully when i'm back in january we can have a meetup let me know what you guys think let me know if you're in toronto and you would like to have a meetup because that would just make me all the more excited to meet you and yeah i hope you guys have the most amazing day and I'm sending you so much positivity and love. And yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed November. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can watch the Mexican Californian adventures. <laughs>